Being a cooperative officer in the county government, I think it will be easier for us to implement what has been taught in the training. Simply because we are the people on the ground, we deal with cooperatives that are opening, that are registering, and then we also deal with training members. So I think it will be very, very crucial for us to deliver this training when we go back to the county. It is awesome, the methodology that the master trainer is taking us through. It is something to really appreciate because uh, I've realized there are so many things as cooperatives or as people who are doing interventions in uh, building up uh, groups, investment groups, and uh, nurturing some uh, VSLA groups into cooperatives. There is a lot that I've learned that I think if uh, I cascade this down to the cooperatives which we are working with in the refugee camp and the host community, it's going to add value and so also going to open to be an eye opener to the operations of cooperative in a refugee camp and in the host community. A cooperative training, it's a, it has come at the right time because we were looking in a way that we can transition with these self, self help groups whereby they can try and uh, maybe form another structured, uh, structured uh, business idea to come up maybe the cooperative because they deal with uh, activities we have such as uh, fisher, fisher women whereby they do their fishing, but the value addition, that's where the problem comes because they have been interfered uh, with the middlemen, so their profit is not maximized. So coming up with a cooperative, it will be of benefit for them because they will safeguard their the interest in fishing.